Okay, in this problem we have a vehicle factory that manufactures cars. The unit cost, C, which is the cost in dollars to make each car, depends on the number of cars made. If X cars are made, then the unit cost is given by the function C of X is equal to this function here. Okay, how many cars must be made to minimize the unit cost? Okay, so first a couple things. Let's make sure that we are on the same page. X is equal to the number of cars made. Okay, and C of X is the cost per car. Okay, so it's asking us to minimize the unit cost. We recognize, hopefully, that this is a parabola. Okay, so you've got a 1.1x squared minus 396x plus 44,614. So this is a parabola, and since the a in front of the x squared is positive, then this parabola looks like this. Okay, so this is going to be the minimum, which is the vertex. The vertex will represent the minimum. And the vertex will be x comma c of x. Okay, so that's kind of like our x and our y, but in this problem, since we're dealing with c, we'll write y as c of x. Okay, so if it says how many cars must be made to minimize the cost, what we're looking for is x, the x part of the vertex. We can find both pretty easily, but the problem is asking us to find x. Okay, so how we go about finding that vertex? We say x is equal to negative b over 2a. Okay, so... Negative b is the number in front of this linear term here. That's negative 396. So negative, negative 396. I put the negative because it's in the formula. I put this negative because it's right here. Divided by 2 times a. So 2 times 1.1. Okay. And if we solve that out, we get 180. So 180 cars must be made in order to minimize the cost. Okay. Now, if they ask, what is the minimum cost? What we would do is say, plug in this 180 into this function in place of x, okay? Now, keep in mind, this is our answer. What, what I'm about to do next, it's not asking you to do, but it could ask you to do in another problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So to find c, or find the c of x part of the vertex, I'm going to plug in the 180 in place of x, okay? So that gives me 1.1 1 .1 times 180 squared minus 396 times 180 plus 44,614. And if you work all that out, you can put it in a calculator, that's going to turn out to be $8,974 per car. Okay, but the answer to this question is 180 cars. All right, let's move on to another one. So we've got a ball is thrown vertically upward after t seconds. Its height, h in feet, is given by the function h of t is equal to 96t minus 16t squared. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite the h of t. And I'm going to write it with the squared term first. So that's negative 16t squared plus 96 t. The reason I'm doing that is because when we go to find the vertex, I don't want any confusion over what is a and what is b, since it's written in the wrong order here. Not necessarily the wrong order, but they wrote it this way because of the negative. So this will be our a and this will be our b when we go to find this. So um, let's see, we've got h is equal to the height in feet and t is equal to time in seconds. Okay. So one thing we should notice about this is that again it's a parabola but this time we have a negative in front of our leading squared term here. Okay. So that means the parabola is going to open like this. Okay. Which is good because it says after how long will it reach its maximum height. Okay. So the maximum height is going to be this vertex again. Okay, and the vertex will be t, comma, h of t. 
Okay, so it's a little different than your x comma y, um, but this, this function is h of t, so t is your variable, and h of t is where you'd normally put y, okay? How long will it take to reach its maximum height? We're looking for time, so we're looking again for the first part of this vertex. Okay, so the first part of the vertex you find by negative b over 2a. So t is equal to negative b over 2a. Okay, so here's our a, here's our b. So negative 96 over 2 times a, which is negative 16. If you work that, that out, you'll get 3, and that's 3 seconds. Okay, so that is our answer. It takes 3 seconds for the ball to reach its maximum height. Now, if they were to say, what is the maximum height that the ball reaches? Well, if they asked that, we would have to take this 3 seconds and plug it in in place of t in this problem. So let's go ahead and do that. So h of 3 is equal to negative 16 times 3 squared plus 96 times 3. And if you work that out, you'll get 144 feet. Okay, so this is the answer if they would have asked, what is the maximum height of the ball? 144 feet. But what they asked for, how long will it take to reach the maximum height? So our answer is 3 seconds. Alright, let's move on to the last one here. The supply company manufactures copy machines. The unit cost C, the cost in dollars to make each copy machine, depends on the number of machines made. If X machines are made, then the unit cost is given by the function C of X is equal to this function, this quadratic function. What is the minimum cost? Okay, so X is equal to the number of machines. Okay, C of X is equal to the unit cost of the machines. Okay, that's per machine, how much does it cost? This time, they're asking us, what is the minimum unit cost? Okay, so they're not asking us, how many machines will give you the minimum cost? They're asking you, what is the minimum unit cost? Okay, so this time we're going to be looking for the second, this one here. Okay, but we have to find the first one first in order to get the second one. Okay, so keep in mind that this is a parabola. It's a regular parabola opening upward because it's positive. Okay, so here is the minimum, and that will be x comma c of x. So just like we did on the other two, x is equal to negative b over 2a. Okay, so a is this 0 0.7 and b is this negative 140. Okay, so negative times negative 140 divided by 2 times 0 0.7. Now if you work that out, you'll get 100. So 100 machines. Okay, that's how many machines it will take us to get the minimum unit cost. But now we have to figure out what is that minimum unit cost. So how much, if I make 100 machines, how much will each one of them cost? And to find that out, we plug in the 100 into that cost function. So that will give me 0 0.7 times 100 squared minus 140 times 100 plus 17,770, and if you work that all out, you will get 10,770, okay? And that is dollars. That's how much each machine will cost if you make 100 machines. Okay, so this is the minimum cost of the machines.